Hi folks, I uh, just want to do a small little video here to talk a little bit more about the Navigator Camel 8 version 2 uh, GPS system. Uh, we've been using this for the last couple of months and uh, the more we use it the more impressed we are with the, the functions that are on it. I suppose the real benefit of this system is it is designed for people who like to get off the beaten track and uh, because of that you can get uh, a lot more detail in the maps, the topographical maps um, on the system than you would get from a normal GPS navigation system. But it's also quite an interactive system, so you can put lots of different types of maps on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can load your own maps if you have a collection of maps. It's very flexible, it works for a lot of different map formats. As you're saying, like you, we're looking at a topographical map now, so unlike most GPS that just have route navigation, we can actually see kind of basically effectively ordnance survey type map with like elevation and tracks that aren't on main navigation routes. Yeah, yeah. but also for planning, the system allows you to plan your waypoints which is also obviously a very useful tool when you're planning a trip and when you find a really nice location to camp you can also just key in uh, your coordinates and that's saved on the system so you'll be able to find that uh, place again and that's also very useful. Yeah exactly so you can bookmark locations that you've been as waypoints so they're easy to find again. Yeah. Another really useful function is should you be driving a large four wheel drive like a Unimog or a uh, you're pulling a camper trailer or you're driving a caravan or even an RV. The system allows you to uh, input the size of your vehicle, its height, its weight, its length. Yeah, and whether you're towing a trailer, right? Or whether you're yeah. towing a trailer, yeah. And the reason uh, why that's useful is that it, it will inform you should you be heading on a track. Um, and if that track has a small little bridge uh, which you may not be able to get under. It, it will inform you uh, of what's ahead and that obviously can help you to uh, change your, your route. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's really useful because um, it can save a lot of time. Other things that it's got, uh, it, it's that as I said it's, it's targeted towards campers and four-wheel drives and tours and all that sort of stuff. You know points of interest from the point of view of places to camp overnight. Obviously all the, uh, the standard stuff which would be registered campsites yeah, so it's, it's very much focused for people who like the touring lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it's a nice device and it, it also can play music for you. Uh, if you have your, you can put in a memory card and play your own music files and you can also browse photographs on it. Yeah, and the one thing that I really like about it is that it's, uh, it's a very, you know, it's, it's got an 8 inch screen so it's, it's quite big and it's very useful when it's on your, on your dash uh, for, for seeing the detail in the maps. I think it's the largest uh, dedicated GPS system I think it's the largest one on the market. Yeah, yeah but anyway, it's, it's pretty big and it's it's uh, it's certainly strong and robust. And uh, yeah, it's 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 certainly gotten us to some nice places over the last couple of months.